good evening. Um, there was some conjecture about whether or not there are mountain lions on the Chesbro Meadow uh, in particular. And I knew there had been, and I knew several people that had sighted them. So rather than, uh, I wanted to put that to rest. I had just uh, questioned a few people, and in one day I found four letters citing personal sightings and a kill, a mountain lion kill, uh, of one of the homes budding on the meadow. And I'd like to read you a little of it. This one was written by Stacy Goldstein, who apparently is an interesting author because one of her letters found its way to Don Dusablon also. And, um, and uh, I'd like to also mention that uh, when she was walking out of the conservancy meeting the other night with a local attorney, who I know is close to a member of the council, he was telling her that there was no way around the, the, the you're not going to save Chesborough Meadow, that it's a done deal now, which would really beg the question of what will public hearings look like and how is that going to look in the acorn when we know if this is really a done deal. I don't know, that's for you guys to know. I'd like to read you a little of what Stacy wrote here. Dear Park Service, my name is Stacy Goldstein. I live at 5330 Chesborough Road, Agura Hills. My home backs directly on Chesborough Meadow. I have knowledge of two mountain lion sightings on Chesbro Meadow, one of which I personally witnessed with my own eyes, and a second of which was related to me by a reliable former neighbor who lived a couple of doors down and also backed on the meadow. Her name is Mary Keenan. She has since moved out of state, but she was adamant about keeping the area open. One day I came out to check my horses, who are ordinarily very calm. I could see they were agitated, and I'm skimming. As were uh, the other horses in the area, at around that time a neighbor called, told me he had seen a mountain lion, to be careful. Um, across the meadow and I should be aware. I waited and watched and sure enough I saw a large mountain lion across the meadow. Fortunately it was moving away from my home and my horses. On another occasion a mountain lion had chased a frightened young deer across the meadow. It jumped the wall into what was then Mary Keenan's backyard which is adjacent to and butts right up on the meadow. The pursuit had caused quite a, mo a commotion and unfortunately when Mary went out in the back she scared the deer, jumped back over the wall and ran into the meadow. The following day, uh, locals found the remains not far off. Because I live here and spend time with my horses and donkeys looking out over the meadow many times daily, I see wildlife that even a ranger might not see. These include vast number of deer, coyotes, bobcats, birds, including egrets, herons, hawks, and kites. One could conceivably live here for a lifetime and not see a mountain lion. These are stealthy, solitary animals who do not want to be seen. Nonetheless, we all know they are there, and there have been numerous such sightings uh, among the local equestrians who ride in the park. The notion that this meadow could be a, become a tract of homes without devastating any future wildlife corridor is ludicrous, something only a developer would have the brass to put forth. Thank you for taking the steps to ensure that this land is available to future generations of wildlife and the community. I support the wildlife corridor and uh, advocate the creation of a proper wildlife crossing over the 101 freeway. I swear these comments to be truthful. Sincerely, Stacey Goldstein. Thank you. We have no further speaker card.